Yeah, hey, Martin. Hey, how, how you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. So you're in the nice, airy uh, and uh, spacious... I don't know what part of the building this is, but... Uh, the photo booth, obviously. The photo booth, yeah. exactly. And yeah. we're here at Lewitt. Uh, and I've not seen this one before. I've heard a lot about it, but it's a very unusual uh, device. Uh, audio interface, USB audio interface. Yes, sir. Uh, very unusual looking in, uh, interface as well. It's not your regular I.O. to into outbox. It has uh, various connections. Uh, I want to show you from another device on the backside. So what's standing out, of course, you can see... You have your computer, uh, your power supply, and your mobile in and out. So apart from the regular uh, XLR jack combos, uh, in balanced uh, and unbalanced, in and, in and out, with an aux in as well, uh, you have USB-C connection. So why is that? Because a lot of people might want to stream on social or on, on Twitch. Um, stream their games or uh, so do loop, podcasts loop or podcasts. So it's like loop back built in. Even more. You got uh, an extensive in and out uh, routing system. So up, front, up here on the top, you have your uh, virtual channels. You assign the, the software that you're using to one of those three channels and then assign those to a separate mix right here. Right. We have two mixes, mix A and mix B, both with a maximizer to make sure that your levels are set for your audience and for yourself. Is this DSP on board the unit, is it, or is it internal? Yes, that is also DSP, but speaking of DSP, when we go up here to our inputs, we have something called auto setup, which is very simple to use. You have, uh, depending on what kind of input source you're using, different presets and it will adjust for you right after a small test it will adjust these three onboard DSP effects an expander a co compressor and an equalizer and that is not made to um, make some funny weird effects or something like that but make the signal as clean and as workable as possible so you can plug in your SM7B or whatnot and uh, make the single workable. Right, okay, so this is designed for kind of desktop users who are looking for a way, because it's a real pain to do like maybe Skype calls or Zoom or yes. and then restream that stuff. The routing is always a nightmare, right? Exactly, it takes a lot of weight off your shoulders actually. It does a lot of the uh, audio side of the, the, the uh, the tweaking for you up front so that you have a clear and workable signal in the end and um, it's made for the broadcaster the podcaster the streamer the content creator so tell me about the, uh, the converters and the, the, the specs for that what sort of sample rates what sort of converters we got we have a 96 kilohertz sample rate maximum uh, sample rate and uh, what's very significant is that the preamps the gain is up to 72 dBs of gain, so, so do a that is ridiculously yes. a lot. It'll, yeah. do, it'll do a ribbon as well. So. You can do a ribbon mics as well, plug in directly there, and uh, need, don't need a cloud lift or anything like that. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, the other USB connection, so you've got the mobile uh, and, and whatnot, so that, that's to bring in an external audio interface or a return. You, you, could, you could bring in either an extra either a mobile, a tablet, whatnot, but it's mainly built for streaming out your audio that you set up on your PC or your laptop and put it directly on social, stream it directly to Instagram or Facebook Live. Right, okay. Channels, yeah? Just trying to get my head around what the, all the USB-C connections are for, because we've got yeah. one for power, one, for, one power, for host. One for your computer. By the way, if you detach all that and still have your power connected, it will have the same exact settings as you set last time. And you can use the interface basically as a simple input-output device without having a computer connected to it. Right, that's handy. Yeah. So um, what's, the, um, what's the cost? 259 quid. Okay, that's reasonable, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. And I've noticed we've got, so we've got some sort of monitor control here as well, a headphone out. Exactly. Uh, that's what I talked about just uh, earlier. Uh, as soon as you have your power supply connected, you basically can click through your inputs and your outputs right there. I have these two stereo linked at the moment, but I can adjust the level right here and just, uh, you know, uh, this is monitor one, monitor two. Ah, so separate monitor that, mixes yeah. as well. Yes, yeah, right. two, two separate monitor mixes as well. Excellent, and available everywhere, no doubt. Yeah, of course, at your local MI retailer and everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, you're welcome.